I came down the plot today to tidy up my greenhouse. I thought I'll get that sorted. Bought myself a flask of tea. I got my new allotment and metal detecting bag. There we go. Thank you, Sandra, for Christmas. So I'm dead chuffed about that. Anyway, so I came down to tidy my greenhouse. I've had a Roland snooping around, which pees me off. I don't use poison and I don't use snap traps um, simply because I don't want to kill the wildlife. I'd hate to come down here one day and find that there was a hedgehog in a snap trap or if there was the robin or something in a, in a trap. Uh, so I've got humane traps which I set uh, and I've had a few rats over the year. Um, not a great deal, just the odd one really, which you're always going to get with chickens. Uh, I've got a rat proof chicken feeder so they're not getting the chicken food anymore. But the bugger has gone after the eggs. So I looked at the egg box and there were like two eggs in there and I thought oh, that's a bit weird considering I've been having like four eggs a day lately and thought nothing of it. And then I put a little wooden, a little wooden bat on across the egg box. So I had a suspicion that something was getting in there but I didn't know what. And the idea, and I think that whatever it is has been rolling the eggs out of the egg box, breaking them on the floor and then obviously eating them. And then the chickens come in and hoover up all the shell and everything so I don't see anything. So I put this little bat on across the egg box. So anyway, check the egg eggs today and there was two eggs and one of them was completely scratched you could see where something had gone rah, and like attacked it it was solid i mean i won't eat it uh, but it was all scratched and gnawed and you can see where something has tried to pull it out of the nest box could also be a squirrel i know that chances are it's a rat because the other day we were down here and sandra she saw a rat uh, poke his head out from under one of the cages well i've got no floorboards under any of uh, my chicken coops um, I didn't want them simply because I want obviously the compost system but also when you get floorboards on a chicken coop rats get under there and they, they literally live under the floorboard and you can never get rid of them they'll live in that gap between ground and, and, and hen house they will just live quite happily knowing they're safe as houses so we know floorboards I know they're not living in the hen house I know they're not living in the run but they're burrowing under having a feed on the eggs and then getting out well this one Sandra saw I asked her I said how big was it and she said it was pretty big she said you know it was like a good size rat apparently he sat and and just like watched her for you know three four foot away for a while kind of like sussing her out and this that, and the other poking her back in the hole poking his head out and the fact that he did that and didn't panic and run away or she suggests to me that it's a, a wily old rat and they're the bloody hardest to catch they are just Oh, they're like ninja rats. They, it's almost like they know every trick in the book. They know not to eat the poison. They know not to go on the snap traps. They know not to go in the cages. They're like James Bond rat, basically. So what I have done today, I have blocked off the net, nest box so that stops chicken going in. I have set the humane traps and and I've put an egg in there in each one because if he's, he or she is going after the eggs, I'm hoping he'll see an egg on the floor and go, winner, winner, chicken dinner, job done, catch the bugger and then he can be dispatched away from the allotment. Um, and before anyone jumps on me and says, why don't you go and let them go? One, it's a rat. Okay, yes, I know rats have feelings too. It's not fair. One, is against the law. You, if you catch a rat or a squirrel, especially in the UK, you can't let them go again because they're classed as a vermin or a pest. Classed as a pest is the correct term. And it's not fair for me to then go and give my problem to somebody else. I'm the one who's decided to have chickens. Um, the rat has decided that my chickens obviously are making really tasty eggs. So my choices are get rid of rat, get rid of chickens. And so obviously, unfortunately, Mr. Rat, uh, you're gonna go. It's not fair to pass that problem on to somebody else. I'd have to take it like five mile away. And yes, people say, oh, I can go and drop it in a farmer's field and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and it's just gonna go to the next house, barn, farm, chicken coop, wherever and cause the same problem and, and so no it's my problem i deal with it and that's how it should be done if you don't like that then don't have chickens that's just the way of the world uh, unfortunately that's what you have to do and by the way all these herbal remedies that i've seen about put tea tree oil around your chicken coop and put grown mint around your chicken coop when i had chickens at home um it doesn't work it, it, trust me it just doesn't work um one of the one of the best things for keeping them away is a cat and a terrier. Obviously, I'm on an allotment, so I haven't got. Uh, I can't have a cat and a terrier down here all the time. But if you've got chickens at home, get a cat, get a terrier. Let the terrier go in the garden all the time. Rats will stay well away. <laughs> they 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 will just uh, literally literally poo themselves um, because obviously Mr. Terrier would be um, 
on them like a rat up a drain pipe. 